Takadosh, Boker Tov, we're going to share with you a beautiful shiur this morning that has to do with a very interesting topic. Sometimes you send somebody to buy something in the store and it's a buy one, get one. Yeah? So I send my good friend, he buys it, buy one, get one free. Who keeps the free one? The shalia, right? The messenger or the balabait, the one that sent it? That's the question. And all these cases, it could be a free pizza, it could be, you know, I just Tom gave you the Bible, we get one, but there's many cases like this. So let's just see what the shiur today is going to speak about. It's a suyana gemara mesechet kitubot to do a shia that they added on to him. So the gemara there differentiates whether it's something that has a kitzba, right? So if it's something that has a set fixed amount, they gave you an extra amount, you bought one, you get one free. Buy two, get two free. Or if you get three, it's a price of 10. Three for $10. Right? For example, you come, you send me to start at 10. Tell me, buy, Rabbi, get me three Doritos. Yeah, I come and I say one second. I can get four for the price of three. So why am I going to get three? I give you the three. You pay for your three. I'm going to take the free one. And that's it. So therefore, what happens is, is that there the Gemara said, if a Shalia comes and he gain from it. He went and he gained from something. If it's got something which got kitzpa, which means it has a fixed amount, he splits the money with the bal amount. So therefore, half-half. Who gains? Shaliyah gains. And also the other person, the owner gains, the one that gave him the money. Okay? Now, what happens if it's something which is not does not have a fixed amount? So I call the bal amount. Everything goes back to the owner of the money. Now we have to understand what is the reasoning why Bichlal becomes between the Shalia and Balhamal. And by the way, you should know this halakha happens so many times. I come and I do you a favor. I buy something from Amazon. They sent me two instead of one. I was your Shalia. Can I keep that one? And this happens time and time again. This could happen. You went to the store and all of a sudden now they made a mistake and they gave you an extra one. But I was buying it for you. I wasn't buying it for myself. Can I keep it or not keep it? All these questions, they're here. Okay. Another question in the Rishonim is, who is Doche in the Revachim when it was given with Furash to the Shalia? Meaning he was given explicitly to the messenger. You're the messenger boy, right? And you come and you get it. And they give it to you. Say, ah, you know what? Since you're the messenger, I'm giving you. Right? So you're, for example, you go for the Balabait every single week. And you go and you buy a certain cake from a certain uh, company or a certain store. And the store knows that you're the messenger. They give you the money. You can buy it from wherever you want. So they actually want to make you happy. So what do they do? They come and they say, here, here's a cake. Say, ah, oh, I'm going to give it to my brother. No, 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 that's for you. That means they're giving him a puras for the shalia, the messenger, who keeps it. So too, there's going to be a, is there a difference between the tosefet, which is sending, Right? Is it a tostepet, which doesn't mean it's something extra, or hanacha? They're giving it to him for cheaper. Right? Is there going to be a difference or not? So, for example, instead of charging you more, they say, you know what, we're going to charge you less. And they give it to him. Fine. Next one. Yeah? He comes and he says, the next one. So, now the next one that we're going to speak about is, Right? What happens now if you if you receive a free ticket, an air ticket, airfare with points? Yeah. Why? Because you're always traveling for your business. Yeah. Are you allowed to use those points for personal use or not? At the end of the day, you were traveling for business all the time. It was all going on the business. Now you're working for your boss, but every single time you were paying with your own credit card, you were getting points and then you got reimbursed. So now all of a sudden with all those points, you have enough points to go for a free trip. Who gets those points? Are you able to use those points for a personal uh, benefit or not? Or for example, right, you're, you're coming and you're getting for gas. What happens now with all the presents or all the things that you get for gas? You know, you get 3% back, whatever the case is. Who gets that? Who gets it? Another thing, shalia, shalak shaliyah, you come and you send your shaliyah to buy perfume in a duty free. And all of a sudden, there was a, there was an offense. There was a, let's say there was a, how do you call this? There was a, a special 
So you come, you get buy one, get one free, or whatever the case is. Or six people that they come to get the pizza. Shliach, he buys the pizza. He gets an extra one. Does the eighth one is free. Who gets the extra one? You divide it between everybody. Somebody that's teaching in a Talmud Torah. Yeah, he buys furniture for the Talmud Torah, for the school. Yeah? Who, for example, right? All of a sudden he gets a present. They give him a free shtendel. Who gets that? Or you buy gimarot. When you buy the gimarot, you got a special one. Who gets that? All these cases, right? At the end of the day, yeah? Or, for example, he went and he sent you money to do something. Go fix this. And at the end, the guy went and did it to you for free for all the things that he did. So can you keep that money now? Or not? Anyway, he's going to pay it. Or a bala that he comes and he gives, he gets a taxi for this guy, for this rabbi, and all of a sudden he comes and he takes the rabbi who's for free. Can the rabbi still keep the money of the taxi or not? Okay? All these things, right, are different. Uh, there's another two points, right? We'll try to get to it as soon as we can. So let's just start, okay? The first part is the Gemara in Mesechet Ketubot. The Gemara Mesechet Ketubot says, okay, Shliach shall see Kulo. So if you look over here, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. It says over here like this. We're talking about to do where? A Shliach. Yeah, and it says over here like this. This is the this is the Dalet. It says over here like this. My Shna Shavema Taim Limana De Amri Atif Sat Shavema Nevima Taim Nami Tima Ana Arvatna. So Amar Rava, right? Amar Rava Barabua Kan Shana. This is what Rabbi says. Hakole Balamaut. What does that mean? Everything goes to the Balamaut. Here we were talking about a case where the Dudu is an Almana. Perkitubata, Perkituba was Shaya, was Shave, was equal to 200 Zeus. Let's say $10,000. She sold it, right? Manabe Matayim, or Shave Matayim Mana. She sold it for the opposite. Whether it was worth 10000 she sold it five or five percent, she received her Kituba. Okay? So now what happens is, is that says the Kimana, what's the difference in the case? That why is it that if it was Shave Matayim and she sold it with a Mana, right? That means she sold it for half the price. We say that she lost out in it, right? So why not the other way? So it says, everything goes to the money. Everything goes to the owner of the money. The time that we learned in the Brighta, imagine right now, you're the Shriya, right? You're my messenger. I tell you, buy six potatoes. You go buy six potatoes, they give you an extra one. So says the Gimara, they added on one extra, everything goes to the Shriya. These are the words of a Yehudi. Rabbi Yosef says, Kol king, you divide it. So says the Gemara Batana, Rabbi Yosef, Omeira, Kol Bala Maot, what are you talking about? The other opinion is, everything goes to the person of the money. So, Amar Rabbi Merham, Alak Hashiyat, there's no question. Kam Adavar Shish Lo Kitzba, Kam Adavar Shish Lo Kitzba. It all depends whether it's something fixed or not fixed. So, Amar Rafa, Rafa says, what's the Allah? You have three extremes. Everything goes to the messenger, everything goes to the person of the money, or you split it. So the Gemara just answered the third opinion, no. Depends on what's the circumstances. Is it something that has a kitzpa, fixed amount or not? So Amar the Papa said, the Papa, Kilchata, Davar Shish Lo Kitzpa, Cholkin. The Lachal, if it has a kitzpa, if it's got something fixed amount, you divide it between the two. If it does not have a kitzpa, right, everything goes to the Shalim. Look over here. Okay, here it says the example of Nashi, right, it brings down, right, that actually says, for example, kidney oil, like beans or things like that, they sell it in a midah. So therefore, everything goes to the Balamaot. Okay, and now the question is why? So Rashi says, Chulkin de matana habay. Yesh lomar la shteach mitzvah, v'yesh lomar la Balamaot mitzvah. What does that mean? In the case that it's something that's fixed, I have a doubt. When they give you the extra one, do they give it to you, to, you, to the Shalia, or to the Balamaot? So because we don't know who they gave it to, so therefore, Yachlok, you divide it. Why? It's money which is placed in a doubt. You don't know if you were supposed to get it or the guy. Sometimes it happens. You go, you do a favor for somebody. They come and they give you an extra freebie. I want to say the freebie was for you. The one that's doing the favor, they know you're doing the favor. Or the freebie was the one that, that sent the order. So they don't know. Yachloku. Divide it between them. And the Ramban says that it's actually very nachon. You show nachon, it's all sort of high down. Okay? Okay. Very, very good. Harif and the Rosh. The Reef and the Rosh, they argue, right? This is the Rosh over here, okay? And the Reef is on page two over here. 
This is the reef over here. The reef says, why is this called Kim? Ho'il, he comes and he says the words also here, over here. Ho'il u'bat n'shniya, over here. Ho'il u'bat no hana'a l'idea b'nabayit, cholek imo. He says, one second, without the money of the, of the balabai, without the money of the original guy, you wouldn't have gotten it. Meaning the only reason why you got the freebie or you got whatever it was that you got, tangible benefit, was only because of the money of the other guy. So therefore, it's both of you together. Which means, since it's both of you together, you have to divide the money equally. Right? So now at the end of the day, he went to the store. He went and there was a buy one, get one. But one second, if it wasn't for my money, he wouldn't have bought it anything. So the fact that right now he wouldn't have bought it anything, I was also the cause of him getting the extra. So because of that, says Allaha, Yahloku, you divide it. Now, what's the nafkamina between the two different opinions? Because it comes out that according to the Ri, something that has a kitzvah, something that has a fixed amount, even if the maukher, the seller says to the shaliyah mefurash, Right? So he comes and he says, right, with Perush, you always have to come and divide it with the Balabai. Which means it. What happens now if I come and I'm the seller? You come to my store and you come to my store the past few times and I say, you know what? I'm happy. I know you can go to any store to buy for Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. whatever your name is, Mr. Rothschild or whatever it is, the rich, Mr. Rich. Right? So what happens? I know that since you're coming to me, I want to pay you something. I want to give you something. Not to Mr. Rothschild, to you. Because I know it all depends on you. You're just a messenger. But I know you're the one that's deciding where to go. So therefore, I'm going to give it to you. It's for you. According to Shittat, the reef, the fact that the money was coming from the Balabat, the money was coming from the owner, even though the seller comes and says, Kurash, I'm giving it to you. You still have to divide it between the owner. You and the owner. But according to Shittat Rashi, that Rashi was saying, we have a doubt. We don't know who he gave it to. Whether he gave it to the Shalia, the messenger, or he gave it to the owner. So since we don't know, divide it. But if you know Mekurash, for example, you went and you said, I'm giving it to you. So you keep it. That's, about, that's the difference between them. La Lacha. What is La Lacha? Yeah? What exactly is the Maran and Shukhan Ruch is on page three. Maran and Shukhan Ruch says, yeah, as follows. This, by the way, we're going to see it also to do with a mistake, also. So says Shulchan Aruch, and like this, he's passing like the Rif Barosh. Haya Hashar Katsu Viadua. Right? Imagine right now the Shar is known. Whether it's going to be the Shar is any type of the value. Usually Shar nowadays is to do with money. When they go to a money exchange, they have a Shar. Here it's talking about even if it's known. Five apples for a dollar. Right? Or a mango for a dollar. Whatever the case is. And all of a sudden, and they added on to the shaliach, whether it was in the numbers, in the weight, right, or in the measurements. Right? Anything that they add on, it goes to both of them. It divided with the balamot. Half, half. Now, if there's no kitzpa to it, everything goes to the balamot. Said the Ramah, Mihu, Ima Mara Mocher be Perush, Shenotel la Shaliyah, Hakol Shela Shaliyah. The Ramah is the one that brings down this Shita that if he gave it specifically to the Shaliyah, it belongs to the Shaliyah. If he gave it specifically to the Shaliyah, it belongs to the Shaliyah. Now the Shah is going to ask on the Ramah, why did he pass it against the Rita Marosh? Right, you're right. You have Shita Rashi, but Tema. Why is the Rama bringing this down? So now, technically speaking, the Maran did not even speak about it. Maran just said he didn't speak about the case where it explicitly said that it goes straight to the Shalia, to the messenger. Maran just said, right now, if they came and they give you an extra freebie, you divide it. If it's going to be katsu, if it's not katsu, it goes back to the original owner. If it's not like a fixed amount, you understand? So now the question now is: the Rama comes and he asks, if you said mefurash, I'm giving it to you, the messenger, you get it. Says the Shah, I don't understand. Why is he passing against the Reef and the Rosh? What's going on? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so he says, and especially, right, especially that it's going to be mashma in the Yushalmi like the Reef and the Rosh. So the Tzotah Hoshin, 
right? Which is over here, there's a sort of portion on the bottom. He answers, right, that he was Pasak and why? He brings out here the Sma, right? He comes and he says, if he gives it to the Turash, right, this is Venide, and he says, Mikevan the Katavan and Bandi Chuba, Shetama Gaon, the Rashi Yape, Ruba, the Red Yosef. So therefore he comes and he says, Hey, Kasituen Shriak, Shehu, Hanau, Lamoche, Umishumaki, Motello, Badaya Kola Shriak. Answers the Sotah Hoshan of this. It wasn't only Rashi, because the Yushami was much more like a Rit Rosh. But Rashi, the Ramban says that it's Nahon. Not only the Ramban, the Ramban brought down that it's also the duration of Haigam. And the Bet Yosef brings it down. The Bet Yosef brought it down. And therefore he comes and he says, even according to the reason that we mentioned that if the Anah comes to the Balabite, it belongs to the Balabite, if the Shaliyah says in Purash that the Moher gave it to him because of him, Everything goes to the Shaliyah. Everything. That means that's like what the Ramah was saying. Everything goes to the Shaliyah. That's the Tzotah Choshev. Okay? Now the Sma writes down, Umikom Akom nevertheless, right? Katapti, I wrote down the read to the, the Rosh because sometimes, according to the Dayan, why did I bring this down? It all depends on the circumstances, which means the Dayan could decide, you know what, maybe in this case, it goes to the Shaliyah. Maybe in this case, it goes to the other one. And the Taz says, Yafeh Katapti. It's good that he wrote on the Sma. That's also Mitzadadin. What does that mean? That means basically it's coming out, right, that sometimes it does depend according to how the Dayan sees it, what was really the met the Kavanah, the, the Mokher, or the one that's giving you the freebie. You understand? So therefore, uh, obviously in the case of publics, and by one government free and things like that, you can't say that they were giving it to the Kavanah, to the Shaliyah, and not to the Balamaut. They're just doing it just to sell more. They don't care who's paying and who's getting it. Present. It's not like the other case that we said. You're always going to the same store and then the seller wants to butter you up and everything else, okay? So that's going to be case number one, okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. Let's continue. What about now leftover money because you received, uh, uh, you know, let's say that you received a special or you received a special type of anakha, he gave you a break, whatever it is. What about the extra money, okay? So now from the, the poskim, there's, there's a question in the poskim. Is there a difference between an uh, extra freebie that you get because of the sale or that they come and they make it cheaper for you? For example, Shaliyah gets 150 shekel to buy something. That's how much it costs usually. Now you went and you bought it 120. Why? You looked around, you found it, whatever the case was. You bought it for 120. Who gets the change? Who keeps the change? So the one that's asked this question is Rav Zafrani, Rav Shlomo Zafrani. So here on page four in the Shuk Mishpat Shalomo, he says that yes, the case, but here he says that yes, Shal Shalti, Aridei Chatani, Arab Rachamim Sardas Shlita. So his son in law asked him a question. A case that happened, a woman comes and she sends her friends to buy something, the Mutsar Hashmal, electrical appliance, right? In Chutzan, it's in the diaspora. So she gives her 150 bucks. When she goes to the store, right, the seller comes and he says that he knows her. He says, you're right, it's worth 150 bucks. But you know what? I'm going to give it to you for 100, let's say 130. I'm going to give you off 30 bucks. So whatever the case was. So now she bought it for 120. So the question is, who gets those $30? So the answer, listen to the answer. Right? Even though the anacha was done for the Tavata Shlicha, for the messenger. Nevertheless, we're not talking about the Shlicha, that she bought it with the money. And then afterwards, she came and she sold it to the one that said it. But rather, she, the entire reason why she went was she, she was a shalia. So therefore, the extra money goes back to the owners. And the same thing here, it goes back to the one that sent her. So now the question is, what's going on? What's the difference? So it explains Rabbi Zafrani, and he says like this, there's a big difference between the tosefet, right, which was given to a shalia, and money which was left over. Because here, the ma'ot, they belong to the owners, and according to everybody, it goes back to the original owners. So this is actually something incredible. I mean, it's not something extra. This is the actual, you were there only because of the owner. So he says, and he's mochiach zeh, he proves this from the psak of the Shulchan Aruch. Yeah? Listen to this. First of all, he brings out the Gemaran Ketubot. The Gemaran Ketubot says, right, Tanan, he talked about, okay, this is the Mishnah that we just learned. He brings out the Nid, Tanan, he brings out the Shulchan Aruch, and the Shach, and the Tzadokosh, and everything we brought down. And now he brings that over here. And he says it is. When you're going to look into it very well, 
en anidon domel la raya. You cannot compare the two cases together. Because there we're talking about the person gave an extra thing to the Sharia. So then we say that it's going to be something which is a fixed amount. So yachloku, they divide it between themselves. And this is the machloka between Rashi and other shitot. However, though, on our case, we're not talking about something extra that's coming to the Sharia. We're talking about leftover money. That was because basically that he went and he got leftover money. In this case, according to everybody, you have to give it back to the owners. He says, why? He says, it's mefurash in Shuvat Maram, Merotomu, and it's a Shulchan Aruch, and Siman Kupig in Sifret. Reuven comes and he sends Shimon to buy a clothing on credit. When it, times the, when it comes to the time of buying the clothing, right, he gives him the money, and it comes out that the goy forgot. So now what happens? It says here, you have to give it back to Reuven, and you do not say, right, I'm going to leave it to myself, because maybe afterwards he's going to remember. And he cannot say, I want to just come and, and, you know, at the end of the day, I want to I do Hashem, Kiddush Hashem, and I want to give back the money. He can't do that. He has to give it back to the original owner. Why? Because now he doesn't have to pay for it, right? So therefore, that Shulchan Aruch Mifurash. So now he comes and he says, Lichor Apsaka Shulchan Aruch is a stirah, to that which he wrote above. Why? Shulchan Aruch writes, Ziv Zah. Okay? Because this was the threat here. Ruben sent money to, to buy a clothing. Okay, but in Ziv Zah, it says, Right? Shalat shluchu lekabel ma'ot me'akum. What happens if you send your shaliyah to get money as a payment from an akum, from a goal? Beta'a akum. Akum makes a mistake. Benatan lo yuteh. Yeah, and he gives him more. Hakol la shaliyah. Everything goes to the shaliyah. Yeah, everything goes to the shaliyah. Right? So now, here, it's a stira and shulchan aruch. Why over here does everything go to the shaliyah? Right? And over there, he has to give everything back to the owner. What's going on? So the Sma in Siv Katan Kapei, he comes and he answers this. Yeah, so when you wrote a nine, it says over here in Siv Katan Kapei over here, Shema Achazman Yazmin Akum, he says, why does the Shriach get everything? And in Siv Chet, we said that everything goes back to the money of Reuven. He says, because there the money is of Reuven. So it goes back to the Reuven. And that's how he explains the Psaq of the Shulchan The same Allah would apply if Reuven was all the money to the Goy, and he gave it to his friend to pay it back, and the goy forgot. Let's give it back to the Ruben. Says the Ramah, even if he gave him 200 to pay to the goy, and the Shriach made the goy make the mistake, and he only gave him 100, and the Akum thought, the goy thought it was 200, everything goes to the Mashalah, to the sender. Because then it's Kiru that the goy was Mochel on half of it, and then it goes back. Also, here, what's the, what's the differentiation between this Allah and Sikh Zayn? The Sma says, the Ainu Mishum, the Amaot, Shela Mashalah. Like this. You gave me money. You gave me money to buy apples. I went and I used that money. What happens now? I'm getting merchandise. That merchandise is not your money. The merchandise is the tachlit, is the exchange of your money. If he now decides to give me something extra, that is the shulchan that we mentioned before, whether it's half-half, or everything goes to the balabai. It depends whether it's something that has a fixed amount or doesn't have a fixed amount. However, though, in this case, you gave me money. You're the balabai. You gave me money. The money was and is always yours. So therefore, if all of a sudden now I come to buy something and it becomes cheaper, that money is still yours. It's not that the merchandise or the product, there was something different that all of a sudden they added or things like that. That money is still yours. So therefore, if I bought it cheaper, I have to give you back the rest of the money. <laughs> you understood? That's what the difference between them. That's what the Sma says. And it comes out that there's a huge difference between getting an extra freebie or getting leftover money. In the sort of incredible thing. Now we're going to speak about what about when it goes on special. So now when you have presents or things that are going on special, right, because you're buying it. So he says now like this, right? There is going to be a machloket rishonim poskim. What about in this case? Right? In the case of a special. And this is brought down in the Sefer Chashukeh yeah. Hemen of Rav Yitzchak Zilberstein. So everyone knows about Rav Yitzchak Zilberstein. Right? And basically this is going to be the big machloket here. Okay? And now the question is as follows. Yeah? He says like this. Melamed um, Talmud Torah. He comes and he buys a furniture. 
and he receives a shtender as a present. Who gets it? Yeah, who gets the present? Yeah, so um, he brings down that according to Shitat Rashi, it's Barur that the Mokher gave the shtender to the teacher and not to the one that gave the money. Because the one that gave the money, right, are on Shahid, let me do them. All the Tobat was the one of the one that's giving the shtender, which means the day. He got money, let's say, from the city, right? And the city is now going to give you the money as a school, you buy your furniture. I decide to buy it from this guy. Now, the guy knows that I could have chosen anybody that I wanted. So the fact that I chose him, he owes me a favor. He wants to butter me up. So he says, you know what? Take a shtender. So who does it belong to? So it says, obviously, according to Shitat Rashi, it should go to the Shalia. And that's also Dat Ramah. The shtender belongs to the teacher. The teacher, one that he bought the furniture, he gets it. Right? Because he's saying, it Rashi, let's say that this belongs to you. But maybe you're going to say, that even if there is Hana'a, right, that you could get it, it's going to cause, right, why? Because maybe you're going to say that it's going to cause that other people are also going to come to him. And therefore, it comes out according to Shittat Rashi, right, maybe you should actually divide it, right? So he says, in culture can tell the Shittat that you have to divide it, right? So therefore he says, so maybe you should divide it, right? That's what he's trying to say. Why? He's trying to come and say, maybe by met, right, it's not saying in the Purash to them. And especially you have also Shitat Arish Arosh Mari. So because of that, right, he wants to say this is where he says it over here. You could push this up and say that they do have Hana. Because that way they could also give presents to their workers. And therefore they're going to cause other people also to send them people. So therefore, since there's also a benefit from the people that are paying for it, right, that they're also, so therefore he says, so maybe even according to, so therefore he says, divide the money. Right, half. The standard the value of the standard goes to the teacher. Half the value of the standard goes to the, to the, how do you call it? To the owners, to the ones that are paying it. Okay? That's that side. There was a very also similar case that was page six that was brought down. Okay? This is basically brought down. Rabbi Ben Sion Neshev. Okay? So he's a uh, in shoot Evan Pina. So here, Evan Pina. Okay? In Kulal Svarim, they started learning. Right, at the beginning, one of the Rechim that he knows how to buy a lot of the Gemara, the, the, you know, for everybody. So all the Rechim, they give him the money, and every single one costs 30 shekel. However, though, since he bought 10 Gemara, he got a special price. And now the question is, who gets the extra money? Is it the Shaliyah, right? Is it the one that went and bought the Gemara, or is it that he gives back the money to every single one? So he comes and he says, Mitzad Echad, the one that was giving him to him, was Shayach to the Shaliyah, but it was because of the amount of, of people. So every single person participated. That the reason why he put it down the price was because every single person was uh, participating. If he would have only bought one Gemara, he wouldn't have gotten it cheaper. But Mitzad Shani, they don't know them. He only knows the, the person that's buying it because he always buys. So according to Shitat Rashi, that you cannot say that he gave it to them as a present. So fine. So maybe it should go to them, to him, right? To the one that bought it, right? But he said, it's mashma that if he made it, so then it's going to go in the, in the mouth, it goes to the Mashalea. So therefore, he says, He also bought it for himself. So when he paid together, he doesn't have money of the Mishalchim anymore, but rather what he has in his hands is what he bought for himself. So here he's giving a huge, a huge kiddush. What did he say? He's saying like this, one more time, you remember that we said the money of the people, it always stays theirs. You're right. I gave that money to him. Now what happened? I also had my money. My money was, I was also buying the Gemara. So I put my money there too. If he's going to make me a deal, maybe the deal that he's giving me is he's giving me back my money. He's not giving back their money. So therefore, maybe I should get it. So he says, Maase, after going back and forth, it would be lovely to go back and forth, you know, like all the different, you know, the, the, the reasoning, but it's very deep. He comes and he says, Maase, he's posseh, half-half. He's not dividing between 10. That means he's not, he gets half, they get half. That's his psa. Not like Rav Zilberstein. Rav Zilberstein could be maybe it's a little bit of a different case because there, the case of Rav Zilberstein was is that the teacher was buying everything for the school, nothing for himself. Here, the person is buying one gimara for himself. And by the way, this can happen all the time, right? You're coming and you're buying for everybody a certain thing and all of a sudden they give you something and they give you something for free, right? 
So again, if it's going to be that they're giving something directly to you, so it could be that you do have much more to, to rely on. You have the Ramah, you have Rashi, right? The Bet brings it down, right? It, it could be, but okay. Now, Kovetz Torani Bet Yichiel, they come and they bring down the, the different cases. One case is what? Is the case of, this is on page five and six. So this is the case of Bet uh, This is right here, Kovetz Bet Yichiel. It starts over here. So he speaks about the case of, um, let's say the, the points, the points case. So imagine you're flying all over the place and you're getting points. Now it's all going, who's paying for the ticket? So it's a chevra, it's the company. Now, are you allowed to use those points for a personal trip or not? And he finishes off by saying, that you were bought with the money of the chevra, you have to come and you have to give it half half. Whatever points that you get that you're able to come and pay. So let's say the, the trip, the free trip cost you 500 bucks. You have to give 250 to the, to the chevra, to your boss, to your employers. Right? The same thing he says. Let's say they pay for your gas. What about now you get free things for the gas? So he says, since you did it with the chevra, and if not, you wouldn't have gotten gas at all. You divide it. Okay? You divide it. So half, half. The same thing. What about now a case of six people that they want and they're asking the shliach to buy them pizza? One slice of pizza each. Now the shliach comes, he buys the pizza for himself. So now because he, he gets seven, you get the eight free. And so what happened? They, each one gets, gives him one, 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 one. And he comes and he says, you know, I'm going to buy one for myself. If he buys one for himself, he gets the eight free. Now he says, even though the shliach was buying the seven pizzas, but the only reason why Right? The, that's what he said here. Because his own money bought, and without his own money, they wouldn't have gotten anything. So this is also Shayak here. And therefore, on Shesh Shaviyot of Shalachim Kabim Chetzi, the Achelek Ashivi, Shayak Kulo La Shaliyah. Shalachelek Zeh, who Gam Shaliyah, the Gam Balamaut. So it comes out like this. He wants to say something incredible. He says, like this, it was only because of the money of the Shaliyah that they were able to get something for free. So because of that, what do they have to do? So what they have to do is, is that six sevens, right? Six sevens of the Michel, of the Mishalchim, they come and they get half. Now the other half, right, belongs only to the Shaliyah. So therefore he gets half, and they get half of that slice, that they have to divide it now in six slices. Everyone understood the case? But now here he comes and he says, the Rav Zafrani also says, what about you sent your shaliyah to the duty free shop to buy a perfume? Now when you bought it, you get buy one, get one free. Now, some Mifsaim nowadays, right? For example, nowadays, and that's what I told you about Publix. When you get buy, buy one, get one free, or buy two, get two free, they're not doing it for the instant messenger. They're doing it for the money, the one that gets the money. However, though, when you're buying it in the duty free, since it's only for the people that are traveling and the ones that are traveling, let's say, to the diaspora or whatever it is. So here, you have to divide it equally. Because basically, you, the owner of the money, you couldn't get it. You could have only got it because I spent money to go on the duty free and I was getting it in the airport. So the fact that even though you're right, when they're doing the buy one, get one free, they're not doing it for you. They're getting it whoever's paying for it. They don't care who shaliyah or not shaliyah. They just care who's the one that's getting who's paying for it, who's getting the money. But the fact that they needed me in order to get it, so therefore it goes half half. Nevertheless, the Zafrani comes and he says, if the Shaliyah is Chozer from Shlukoto, what happens now if the Shaliyah says, you know what, I'm not going to do the messenger? And he's going to buy it and he gets it. Afterwards, he could come and he could sell it for a different price. Which means he comes and he says, I'm not doing the messenger for him. What I'm doing is I'm buying it for myself. Buy one, get one. If he wants to buy it from me afterwards, I'm going to sell it to whatever price afterwards. And then you can do whatever you want. Right? That's what he says. He says, even if the shliach is going to be chozer, but he's going to buy it with his own money. So that, again, he has to buy it from his own money. He cannot use then the money of the shaliach, of the of the, shaliach, of the messenger, like of the guy, the balabai, and then say, ah, I'm doing, no, no, no. If he's using his own money and he's buying it on his own, then afterwards he's going to come and he's going to say, you know what? I'm, he's allowed to do that. Okay? Very good. Okay, so the Zat Hashem will continue next.